Moving forward, the Council for Non-Government Organizations in Malawi, Kunguma, in partnership with Global Call for Action Against Poverty, GCAP, and People's Vaccines, have called on government of Malawi and all governments globally to urgently maximize the production of safe and effective vaccines, treatments, and other COVID-19 products by suspending relevant intellectual property rules by ensuring mandatory pooling of COVID-19 manufacturing technologies so that the nation is able to produce enough doses for its population. The call has come earlier today as Malawi joins the rest of the world in commemorating the second year since the World Health Organization formally declared COVID-19 a global pandemic on 11th March in 2020. According to the program's officer for Kongoma, Simon Sausande, the council is concerned with, with thousands of needless deaths each passing day resulting from a lack of strong government action in the face of pharmaceutical monopoly greed. Aina Fipiri reports. According to the partnership of these organizations, the commemoration is coming at a time Malawi and the world at large have suffered severe effects of the pandemic, including loss of life and economic opportunities. As Malawi and the world begin a third year with COVID-19, Kongoma and its partners have said it is imperative for the world to institute strategies that would end the pandemic. Earlier today, as the world commemorates the second year with COVID-19, Kongoma, through its demonstration at Lilongwe District Council, has called on the government to utilize the available resources and start manufacturing vaccines in the country to meet the desired targets. Programs officer for Kongoma, Simon Sauzande, said the event was organized to appreciate the progress of COVID-19 operations in the country. Today, the world is commemorating two years uh, of COVID-19 as a pandemic. We are here because of COVID-19 uh, vaccines. Developed countries um, are not giving access to poor countries to produce uh, COVID-19 vaccines, despite the fact that poor countries have also a capacity to produce. In his remarks, the head of programs at Malawi Health Equity Network, Amuhen Davis Mochomo, said it is important that government calls for manufacturing technologies of COVID vaccines to avoid unnecessary deaths of citizens as COVID vaccines manufacturing companies are making wholesome amounts of profits from initiatives designed to help the people. Um, as we are commemorating the second anniversary of COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it is high time that the African countries and other countries are also given that opportunity to start uh, uh, manufacturing vaccines. And the, uh, based on that, there is that need for uh, those world to do countries to transfer uh, the knowledge and, and the capacity in terms of the infrastructure, human resource, and also, uh, like I said, the knowledge itself. Malawi has cumulatively recorded 85,476 cases, including 2,620 deaths. 76,547 cases have now recovered with a total number of 6,077 active cases. As of 10th March 2022, 14 active cases were hospitalized. For Lunta News in Lilongwe, this is Alina Fipiri.